Molweni. My name is Milata Samuel. I'm a student at IHS International Hotel School and I am doing my second year. Uh, if you want to be a chef, please stay tuned. If you know someone that wants to be a chef, please mention them in the comments, share this video to them, tell them about me, tell them about this beautiful chef over here and also don't forget to like, subscribe and comment, share, share, share. Ne? Okay, so I'm going to quickly talk about my experience. So I'm doing professional cookery program, ne? Um, CA Culinary Arts, ne? it's the same thing. So it's a, it's a, it's a two-year program. So first year, you're in the hot kitchen and you basically you qualify to be a chef at the end of the program so it's a one-year program i don't know guys if i'm confusing you i'm also confused with the pictures and the channel hi guys once again yeah. okay so uh it's the following thing and Frati was not in the kitchen but i just wore my uniform because <clears throat> they it again and also um, I think I'm more relaxed now. I want to rush through it and I will just be able to talk. Ne? I'm gonna just quickly talk about International Hotel School, Africa's leading hospitality business and culinary school. Ne? Fun fact about IHS it's Africa's leading um, hospitality business and culinary school. Ne? Guys, imagine it's leading in Africa, in the whole continent, not just in South Africa, but in the whole continent. Okay, so. And also in them Nandi about IHS is that your um, your qualification is nationally recognized. Yeah, here we go. We have almost now international hotel school. So your qualification is internationally recognized or nationally recognized. Yeah, boy. So if you want to know more about international hotel school, you can go to their website. I think they do have some sort of information. And also, if you want to apply, you can also come to the school and um, set up a meeting with, with one of the consultants. And they will be able to assist you. And yeah, so I'm just going to do my part. Né? And I'm just going to do my part. And I want to just talk about my experience. Né? So that you guys, okay, I'm sorry if I keep on saying ne, but I, I can't help it. Oh, my name is I'm sorry, but I'll try. International Hotel School is provisionally registered as a private FET college with Department of I of Higher Education and Training. Okay, well, I'm not going to read the whole thing, guys. You yeah, have a lot. So we have a lot of programs. There is a lot of programs. We have um, hospitality business programs, which is um, often by general manager. If you want to be um, operations manager if you want to be a restaurant manager if you want to be um food and bev manager conference and events manager it's a lot front office manager it's a lot it, the list is long yeah? so international hotel school deals with the whole hospitality industry the whole it's a three system so yeah it's a lot guys shame it's a lot and it's so nice but in like and go late department your front office don't 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 i'm not back of house it's a kitchen it's a kitchen and behind the scenes so if you want to be behind the scenes like me then you're gonna listen to this i will talk more about my experience but if you guys want to know more about bachelor of business administration you can ask me those questions also i will have i will have somewhat information because i do have friends that do this so if you guys really want to know about ESO, ESO um, programs, then you can ask me. But let me just get straight into what I'm doing and which is what most people have been asking me about, culinary programs. So we have, I think about four or five, that's a lot. Né? We have traineeship, we have diploma in professional cookery, we have um, and diploma in professional cookery and kitchen management. We have professional cookery and patisserie program, which is mine. From Nike Bente at the beginning of the video that I'm doing my second year. I, I quali I'm, I'm a qualified chef because I did the professional cookery. I graduated. Professional cookery is strictly for those that want to cook and want to be in the kitchen to cook. So this program can actually be split into two. Okay? Professional cookery on its own, patisserie program on its own. The patisserie is pastry, and then the professional cookery is the, it's focused more on cooking and desserts, like chef, a normal chef, sous chef, head chef, 
um, chef de party. Zonge is a chef. Zen's a program in professional cookery. So if you want to be a chef, ne, and you don't, you don't like baking and stuff, so you can do this program. What are the requirements for professional cookery programs? Ne? Okay. Minimum entry requirement is grade 10 pass or equivalent. A national senior certificate would be an added advantage. Professional cookery program, the one that I'm doing. So if you want, if you just want to focus on the kitchen and you want to do, um, you want to become a chef, a sous chef one day, you want to become a head chef one day, an executive chef, you want to become a CDP, you know, chef de party, uh, a demi chef, you know, a commi chef, you name it. So this is the program for you, ne? If you want to be a chef, just like me, this is the program that I'm doing, or the program that I, the program that I did last year, ne? So, um, minimum entry requirement, it's a grade 10. I know, it's a grade 10, guys. And if you really want to become a chef, you will go for it. It's a one year course, but still, at the end of the day, you will become a chef and your qualification will be nationally recognized. I know some people um, will be embarrassed because your asana is a course, a funo requires a great time. The funo is a three years, a course, a diploma, professional diploma, don't do kitchen management. Can't deny it, it's fine. If you want to do the whole hospitality thing, you can do it, it's fine. But if you just want to focus on being a chef, then there is no need for you to waste your time and there is no need for you to. Where we tell, uh -uh. professional cookery is the one for you and it will open doors for you so you don't have to be ashamed because i know some people will be ashamed or are ashamed of doing it can't you? it's not that deep if you really want to become a chef you will do it so you can go from it's a one-year program it's a full-time program and also there are two intakes per year june I mean, it's March and July, ne? So, March, July. It's totally up to you. It's a one-year program. I've said that. And when you are done, upon successful completion, graduates will receive, you'll be a graduate after a year, and you'll receive a, a national certificate in professional cookery, ne? And, and also, if you do with Confederation of Tourism and Hospitality, you will have a diploma, like... It will be a Confederation of Tourism and Hospitality Diploma in Professional Cookery. Yeah, but, but that CTH, I can't explain it further. The only thing I can say for you is, um, is that it's the UK's leading professional awarding body for programs in the specialist growing hospitality and, and tourism sector worldwide. CTH is for, yeah, I know, for the UK's leading professional awarding body for programs in the specialist growing hospitality. So if, if you want to know more about it, you come to open days also. You don't just call consultants if you just want information because sometimes they don't have the information. Whereas if you come to open days at IHS, you will have all the information that you want and also you'll be able to ask all the questions that you want to ask because now I'm, I don't know much. I'm just a student here. I'm just talking um, based on my experience and what I know. So, yeah, that's that. So upon completion, when you're done, after a year, you graduate. So what happens during that year, that during that one year? You guys want to know if it's 50, but if it's theory only, or I mean, if it's um, practicals only, or it's theory only. Guys, unfortunately, you do both. You do both. 50% theory, 50% practical. Balance. I know, guys, it suck, but the theory... It's actually very nice, ne? It helps you, it equips you, it makes you a better chef. The theory, guys, you will learn a lot. You think you know about cooking, ne? Until you read those notes, until you study those notes, guys, you will know. I man, making am now. This is just apparently up you know, okay, it gives you the in-depth about um, the whole program. It's a very nice program, guys. And the theory, you enjoy it. If you love cooking, you will also enjoy the theory. Because the theory, uh, you want to learn about photosynthesis. The theory is more like practical, but it's a theory. It's written down. So you study it. You write it. You write tests. We have exams. We have practicals. We have um, practice dishes. So there are dishes that you can just see you go to your about. Yeah, practice with your team. And start at March. And then March, April, May, June. Strictly theory and practicals. You are at school and you are at class. You are at class. 
We have four now, you go to the kitchen one week in theory, one week in kitchen, one week in theory, one week in kitchen. So it's 50 50, 50% of each. Yeah, boy. So after that, go to line. Oh, guys, there's a lot of paperwork. Ne? A lot of paperwork. So my advice to you, if you want to enroll or you have enrolled, my advice to you is to just do it every day. Take it a day at a time. Otherwise, if you're going to wait, it's going to pile up and it's going to be a lot. You'll quit because there are people that quit. There are people that just throw it towel and just waste their money and quit because it is a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but it is manageable. If you give, like guys, think about your future. If you think about your future, then it will be easy for you. It will come naturally. You will not even feel like you're doing too much. Not other than, hey, last year, did you plant it? I So, just go very fast. Yeah, cow laces. I don't know if you do it. I don't know if you do it. I don't know if you do it. Okay. So, in, so, after that, we go to, we go to lie. Oh, we go to they find a place for you. They place you. You placements, nje. They place you. So it's work integrated learning, ne? It's will. But to put it in simple words, it's in service training, man. Can your internship, man? But it's unpaid. For four months, if you're NQ, or for three months, if you're CTH. But also, as terms this are inside you, you won't understand, but you will understand. I will you understand exactly what I'm talking about. So it's four months in the in the industry. Ne? So you go to a hotel. I went to Redis in Blue. So you guys can also check and watch my TikTok videos because I did do um, small vlogs I will, to show you guys how it was. And I had fun. Yo, guys, I'm enjoying this course. Yo! <laughs> That's why I was like, I have to do videos. I have to show you guys. And I have to tell you guys, guys, like, I'm enjoying myself so much. Because this is something that I've always wanted. Like, I've always wanted this. And then God, God pulled through for me. Like, imagine I'm doing my second year. I don't know. But it's God, guys. And also, if you want something, go for it. I've always and only wanted to go at international hotel school i know it's a corner school or nothing cape college now is the same thing but i want international hotel school because i know why i wanted nothing i'm going to open the lab guys come yo okay okay fine can do here again we go to lie you go to will to to places so my friends were placed at table bay at Siva's table, like close to Siva's table, some were placed at one and only, double three, red and blue, red and red, tin swallow. It's a lot of beautiful places, guys. Beautiful hotels, beautiful restaurants, five star, four star, five star, four star. Beautiful places. They don't just place us anywhere. Not quite spare. Like, come on. They place you at beautiful places. Century City Hotel. Um, yo, it's a lot. It's a lot of places. At the Taj, at Sun International, yo, it's a lot of places. And then there is a right. They don't have, if they like you at the place, my darling, even I, even I, if Ben Freeman's a wheel at some blue, because they liked me and I liked them. Below, like, like, below and tonche. So if they like you, they will employ you. Remember? They will definitely employ you if they like you. And now if you show that you are interested, you are invested, you want to do this, even though they don't pay you, but you're doing it, you're going all out, you show the hunger that you have. You show that you want to do this. You show that you want to be a chef. You want to learn. You want to upskill. You want to learn new skills, techniques. You just want to learn and you just are open-minded. You, you, you adapt quickly. Like, guys, if you show the interest and if you want to be a chef if you have an attitude it won't work for you if you my chef i'm saying it in a very good way i'm i'm not saying it in a very in a very good way like my mom always say you can't stand up for yourself or if you to extend your wanna like you can't um stand your ground or, or no since so to the like, like in the sense of if they ask you to do something do it even though you know that you're not supposed to be doing it they are the ones that are supposed to be doing it but they are abusing 
power don't take it as bad they are abusing power just do it and take it as bad you are learning because they know how to do it so well just do it just do it the next thing you know you will be perfect at it if they if they put you on the egg station for four for a whole month be on the egg station be on the egg station it's omelette when's it when's omelette when's it don't never be on swim when's the egg benedict when's the egg royal because they think they're punishing you can't it? but the, it's not like that in the industry obviously you have to do you have to be in every part of the kitchen you have to be in the hot kitchen in the cold kitchen desserts and also hot kitchen which is fine dining a la carte and all of that so you also have to know like be advanced diverse and know every part of the kitchen fine dining a la carte a buffet a breakfast yay you trust in you guys I can talk on and on and on and on about my experience because it was just an amazing experience. There are ups and downs. There are times where you just, you are tired. You, you just, you're tired, man. Like, you because you, especially we will, you don't get paid. So, you are tired. Nothing is motivating you. But your motivation should be that, um, this is what I want. That's that's your motivation. Think about your future. Three or four months is gonna be done now, 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 now. You're gonna it's gonna be done, and then after that you, you can work to get paid. You're gonna be a qualified chef after that. Yep. So yeah, don't take it as if you are being abused or you are being used. Just take it. Just take it as a learning curve. You are learning and you are learning every day. Yeah, bro. So if you take it like that. It's gonna help you so after you go to will you come back to school you do your exams your final exams you cook again the full like it's very strict it's an exam 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 so you cook and it's very strict you cook for the chef they taste and then also you um you write an exam yo guys it's very stressful but it's manageable and ian's like because i am the proof i am the evidence i graduated through it all, God was with me. I graduated. I'm an international alumni, which is the <laughs> go. You must own it. Own it. So you do your after the after exam, you are done with your studies. You can work as a commie chef. You qualify to be a commie chef, you qualify to be a chef. However, your qualification you will only obtain it the following year, which is March. Because you started in March, it's a one-year program. So March, the following year, is when you get back your results. Hopefully you pass. If you don't pass, then yeah, and yes, I don't know. But hopefully you pass, you graduate. If you pass, you graduate. Maybe April, you graduate, and then you are a qualified chef. Executive chef, Zonga and Tonsen is Bali. And we are pack a pa. You find dining, you show your plating skills. You cook, you cook, you cook. Sabu, it's giving Siba's table vibes. We don't forget calling on the yam because Siba wins the fine dining. If you if you go to Siba, um, Siba's restaurant, guys, you fine dining, top notch, beautiful plating. The menu is amazing. I've never been there yet. I'm going to experience it soon. So yeah, so I'm done about professional cookery, guys. Unless if I didn't say anything or if I missed out on something, please do talk and please do tell me. Please do ask questions. I'm gonna move on to patisserie program, the one that I'm currently doing. This is delicious. She calls herself Chef Delicious. Chef, it makes sense for her to be Chef Delicious because she cooks delicious food. Not yeah, like what else was I gonna talk about? Pastry game. I'm not a big fan of pastry, I'm sorry. But I just had to do it for the skill. I just had to do it for the skill, guys. And being as a professional cooker, So, yeah. And also, I, I just wanted to, you know, unleash that creativity. That's here. Yeah. Unleash it. And to just challenge myself. Because I know I'm comfortable in the kitchen. But pastry, it's not, it's out of my comfort zone. It's out of my comfort zone. So that's why I'm okay as doing. Let me just challenge myself and do pastry. It's going to help me. In the future, it's going to help me. I know in the long run, it'll help me. Even in the short run, it'll help me. That I know. In order for you to do pastry, you can't do pastry if you have grade 10. You at least have to have a level 4, which is equivalent to a metric certificate. Ne? 
So if you have your matric certificate, you qualify. That's your minimum entry requirement to enter. But, but, so a pastry, then I will go. I'm currently doing pastry. All I can say is if you want to bake, if you want to own a bakery, an executive pastry chef, if you want to become a pastry head chef, a pastry sous chef, a pastry demi chef, artisanal bakery owner, a cake designer and decorator, and a person that works with chocolates, eh, you must do pastry. This is the cost for you. This is the cost for you, kind of sum. It's pastry. So, and I kind of back out, you love making cakes. You start a pastry March, April, May, June, July. You go to war, you come back, you do your your visa, your exams, and your exams. After that, you, you're done. You start working because you are qualified to work. And also, and also, it's important, guys. I always say this it's important to live or to. To present yourself well when you're at will because that is where or how it will be determined if you're guaranteed to have a job towards the end of the program so if you study and you um you write your exam you pass you can go back to your place because they they liked you they loved you the, your qualities and what you bring what you're about they loved it they will definitely hire you to work there so it's it's nice can challenge so you qualify to become a pastry chef, you graduate, and then you are done. There are other programs, um, there are other programs, two year in service traineeship. I don't know much about that, hey? We also have assistant chef program. Um, you are not a part-time school, full-time job. Full-time job, I think. Part-time school, full-time job. I won't talk about something that I don't know, guys, I'm sorry. We have um, campuses as Ninzi. Um, we have Cape Town, which is up and up and Koyo. We have a Durban, we have a Kabecha, we have a Johannesburg, we also have in Pretoria. So those are the campuses that we have in South Africa at the moment. So after graduation, there is an app that they have that is called Beyond Grad. So Beyond Grad ne, is a student placement service. Ne? So, the school is very dedicated, guys, um, to, to, to focus on employing you guys. And um, we know that every student is looking, forward, is looking for a great job to start their career and ultimately their future. That's why we have dedicated employment services team focusing on just this. Our Beyond Grad team is comprised of experts who are well connected in the industry and the hospitality industry and in touch with the latest employment trends. It is our priority to find or to provide you with diverse employment opportunities and the tools to make the best decisions in reaching your career aspirations. We can assist you in finding your first job and will continue to be available to you when you are ready to explore new opportunities. So what does IHS do for you while you are studying? Né? So they have CV workshops um, to arm you with industry relevant and appealing CVs and cover letters. They have workshops for that. Interview skills, workshops, and that will give you the urge to face-to-face -face meetings and work experience opportunities while you study, provide assistance with job interviews. So work assistance while you're studying is the will that I was talking about. You're still studying, but you go to work, they find a place for you. You don't even have to stress about that. They will definitely find a perfect place for you. They are so considerate. They just consider everything before they place you. They don't just place you anywhere just to spite you or what. They want what's best for us. So, and also stationary. You guys, if you're doing professional cookery, you'll receive a knife bag that is worth two point something I think and I'm not sure oh, more than that eight I don't know guys I don't know but the, it has knives it has um, measuring spoons measuring cups spatulas whisk that's a lot of things and for pastry if you are doing pastry the things that you get guys I'm gonna do a video unboxing the things that I got as a pastry student at IHS the things that I got oh sign up I'm telling you. 
so guys ihs way two overall it is a very good school i would recommend for you guys to come if you want to come and don't stress just do it nj and now the one thing that made me want to come to the school is the name of the school international hotel school international so to me it just clicked but okay definitely if it's international hotel school then my qualification is internationally recognized so i can work anywhere in the world it does say here go anywhere anywhere starasam there you go so yeah that's what i loved the most so i was in high school in grade 11 or 12 when they came to to our school with all other schools which there are also other culinary schools but ihs just stood out for me shame it really just stood out for me and i was interested imagine guys you are working ne? doing what you love and you are traveling at the same time isn't that soft life shooting two birds with one stone isn't that soft life you are ex you are exploring you are doing what you love you know you and when you do what you love i promise you you won't feel like you are working hey, yeah you do you obviously at dinner um because your robot but my point is imagine working doing what you love cherry on top exploring the world while you're doing what you love you get to learn different cultures, different languages. You get to engage with different people in different parts of the world. Yo, guys, it's amazing, shame. It's amazing. Fees. <coughs> Fees. Fees. So, the whole program is close to 100,000. No? It's close to 100,000. But the nice thing is that if you pay there are many options not many many but like there are options so you have student loan you have your parents or sponsor and yeah that's about it bursaries as zero i mean i know nothing about bursaries and seriously you are asking cute Ah, guys, tell them this is in in Donald is school fees. You can pay monthly, but also it's important to pay your deposit. In the way, if you a cool layer, it deposit, which is a thirty-five thousand plus minus thirty-five thousand. It depends on the program program that you're doing, and also we also have a student loan to help you with student loan. But a student loan, they pay for your school fees, but during the year that you're studying. You must at least pay the interest every month you pay the interest and then when you start working you pay back the money pay back the money never and then attending international hotel school it comes with a lot of opportunities with a lot of um overseas opportunities there are a lot um, opportunities overseas and also they work with great agencies never so they help you a lot so if you and if you work, if you work overseas, like guys, first salary is plus minus 50,000. If you convert it, I'm talking about the US gang. And also if you convert, if you convert the money from the, there to here, it's like 50K. So in a space of three months, four months, you'll be able to pay back the money. And then the rest is yours. If the pro, if the internship is like, 12 months, 18 months, the rest is the rest is yours, yeah. Bro? Unless you're working there full time. So, guys, it's an investment. It is an investment. It's not a waste of money. People say it's, an, it's not a waste of money. It's not. It's an investment. Here comes someone, and she's gonna disturb me, and I don't want to be disturbed because I'm doing very well. I don't want to be disturbed. Hi okay. guys, bye guys. She's just showing me some love. Hey. And so guys, please enroll. It's so fun in school, you know. She's a first year student. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And I'm really having fun. Hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying, guys. Oh, you better come. Roll up July. Yeah. The, the um, applications are open. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where I'm going to end today. If you have any questions, if I left out anything, if you want to know anything about the school, about me, anything, Jay, if you just want to know anything, then DM me, send me a message. I will definitely respond. 
and I really tried responding to everyone that have sent me a message up to this far. So I hope that this video will enlighten you guys a little bit more. At least it's an idea. I also tried making a video a day in my life as a student chef. So you can also see that to just see we have amazing chefs at this school. The lecturers are amazing. Um, it's just amazing, guys. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. That's all I can say. If you've come to this far or to towards to to this part where I'm talking now, then you are a real one. You love me. I love you. But it's just that when you don't know that you love me yet. But now I know that you love me because you've watched up to this far. So thank you so much for your love, your support. Thank you so much, guys. It means a lot to me. Please do not forget to like, to comment, to subscribe, and also to tell others about this video, about this channel, to tell them about me, to just tell them, Jake, but kuku chef me la pa kula YouTube and la TikTok. Tanam uzum chongi. Funa chef uzum chongo chef me la. Please, me la the chef Eva. So yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video.